Hey couples, in today's video, we're going to show you a scripture passage that has been frustrating and confusing for many parents out there. Parents who have wondered if the Bible promises that their kids will turn out just right. Here's the scripture verse we're going to look at today. It comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. It says, start children off on the way that they should go, and even when they're old, they will not turn from it. Yeah, so parents, maybe you're thinking, yeah, we've created a loving home. We love our kids unconditionally. We have structure, we have discipline, we bring them to church. So isn't this verse saying that then when they leave the house, they're gonna be just great and love God themselves? Well, the reality is it's not so simple. And I'm sure many of you are experiencing that, especially if you're dealing with teenagers right now. So here's the first thing that you need to understand. Proverbs in the Bible are, principles, they're not absolute promises. The book of Proverbs is wisdom literature written almost 3,000 years ago, and it's got great timeless principles that still apply today. But we can't just take a scripture verse from the book of Proverbs and say, this absolutely then is a guarantee for my life and for my parenting. Yeah, and if you look at the word start, start your children on the way they should go, you know, the verb there meaning like there's a lot of activity parents need to be doing. So we can't look at the verse and be like, okay, so this is a promise that if I do X, Y, or Z, then I'm guaranteed my kids are gonna turn out okay. No, but it's a principle that if you do the right things, if you do raise your kids according to godly principles, if you are creating structure and love in your home, then the likely result, as you work as parents to create the right environment for your kids to grow, when they are ready to leave the home, they'll be ready for that and they'll love God too. The truth is that parents can only do their part. Your kids are gonna have to choose their own path. We like to call this the fundamental law of parenting and it's that over time the child has to take ownership of their own life which means parents you need to allow them to take ownership as they grow older into those teenage years yeah i think this is one of the things that's hard in parenting that when they're infants and babies it's pretty easy to set the environment and the structure around it because it literally is for their safety, right? But as our kids grow and as they start to go to school and are around peers and different ideas, like the idea of parenting that is where we're growing with our kids, that as different factors are coming into play, that we're still teaching God's principles to them, but we're not being so controlling that it's just, you're gonna do exactly what I say and not giving our kids the chance to start to process like, okay, how does God's word apply to my use of social media, for example, or the kind of movies I watch when I go to the sleepover, right? We, as parents, you're not gonna be able to control your kids when they leave the house every time. So you gotta start thinking about it in terms of building those principles into your kids, growing with your kids, giving them more options to choose the path as they get older. So by the time they're 18, they're ready to say, you know what, I'm ready to go off on my own because my parents have given me a chance to kind of learn and grow as I've gained some independence and I'm not just so under their thumb that I've never learned any of these principles or had the ability to choose anything for myself. Yeah, remember couples that parenting is a progression and that we need to make changes as our kids get older. So if we go back to the verse, this principle that's not a promise, it says, start your children off on the way they should go. So parents, for us, it's an ongoing process of training up our kids, teaching them along the way that as they get older and older, as they're out of the house more, you know, doing activities and sports and school and plays and whatever those things are that we're teaching and training them according to God's principles, but we're giving them more room to start to exercise their independence and their choices as they grow so that when they're old enough to leave and totally out from under our care, they've been trained in a way they know how to live in a world and to honor God in it. So see this proverb as a principle, not a promise, and then make sure to pray and ask God to give your kids the ability to own their faith even as they get older and leave the home. Now, if you've got questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel on YouTube.